As a professional athlete, I'm on a pretty strict diet. I gotta get 2,600 calories, I need 200 grams of protein. And since I've been in Japan, I've placed exactly 144 orders on Ubu Eats. It's super convenient, but today I can't do that because we're on our way to one of the coolest art exhibits. So I'm gonna have to meet my nutrition goals on the go. And I think I've found the perfect solution vending machines starting with this one if you're thinking this is going to be impossible you probably don't know much about japanese vending machines there's some that even sell bugs and we're going to try to find one of those a little bit later in the video this is aquarius it's a japanese hydration drink you can think of it like propel super important to stay hydrated but that's not what we came for we came for breakfast which means we need to find some food what are you getting chalupa the only thing that matters coffee chalupa is also an elite athlete but apparently she's eating for enjoyment today a couple minutes later we thought we had a big breakthrough this looks like the perfect guy to ask about vending machines with Food. I used Google Translate to ask if Yokohama Station had any vending machines with food in them. Uh, oh, well, no vending machines in Yokohama Station with food, which means we gotta catch a train. On the way to the platform, Chalupa almost cheated on the mission before we had even gotten going. We have to stop here on the way back when I can eat. For reference, this is what my breakfast would normally look like. I would walk out of my apartment, walk to the buffet, I would get potatoes, one sausage, some bacon, eggs, a little bit of oatmeal, and some fruit. Today, this is what we're having. I don't even know what this is. Do you think that's a drink? I mean, it looks like it's a drink. Is that just like corn, cream of corn? Potentially. Corn that is cooked. I love corn. Should we get one? Yeah, we gotta get one. We want this. Corn. It's cold. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. This is incredible if it's corn. It smells like corn. Let me smell. I was hoping of just canned corn. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> well, you don't like corn. Uh, I do like corn. I don't like a corn drink. That's what the nutrition facts look like. Wait, does apple juice count as uh, fruit? No. Would that count? No? Then why does corn juice count as vegetable? Because it's not common. That makes literally no sense. There's no kernels of corn. No, it's, yeah, because it's all like blended up. The apple juice that comes from apples, it's all blended up. I mean... Time for another coffee for you, Rachel? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can do it, but don't make me. <laughs> and while transferring trains, we stumbled on this machine. You're gonna eat dessert for breakfast? My blood sugar's tanking. Gotta... If your blood sugar's tanking, you wanna get ice cream? Help spike it? It's looking, it's looking real good right now. <laughs> I think we should try it. Well, I can't. I gotta eat my diet. I gotta get 2,600 calories. I need 200 grams of protein. This ain't gonna get me closer to that. <laughs> calories. Yeah. It would give me calories, but not healthy ones. All right, we'll split it. When I hand you the camera, you gotta be looking like filming, not looking at your phone and just dangling the camera every I'm time. watching it. So you were not getting me. Yeah, I did. Does it come with a spoon? No, inside probably the lid. Inside the lid? No spoon. Try open it. No spoon. What do we do? Oh, no, 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 no. 350 yen for ice cream, but no spoon. I don't like this flavor. It's not mint or chocolate. A little bit of mint, kind of sweet. No protein though. <laughs> not gonna get me to my protein goal. Wait, I've just discovered they're pop rocks. Feels weird that they keep popping in my mouth. This is a cheese. No, I have miniatures. Denny's miniatures. I'm so fucking hungry. Take about anything right now. We gotta catch this train. While we were on the train, I took a second to browse trevorbauer.com, which has some great merch available right now, like this live by the sword, die by the sword shirt combo. Or you could get a Bauer out of snap pack. Or maybe this firewood t-shirt I'm wearing, which allows you to yell firewood every time you saw a hitter off or break his bat. Oh, I think we found something. Snacks. How happy are you, Chalupa? So happy. Oh, we got a bunch more ice cream. We have cookies, chocolate chunk cookies, gluten-free chocolate chunk cookies. Look at this. Where do they have protein though? Is there anything here with protein? Time to try a slow bar and a sweet potato pie. What are, what are you getting, Chalupa? Don't talk to me until I eat. I'm hangry. Chalupa is hangry. All right, let's get some food. Ooh. Slow bar. Nutrition facts. We got to Google Translate it. 184 kcal two grams of protein not great 7.8 grams of fat 28 grams of carbohydrates so is it healthy not healthy but uh, i need some calories as do you and uh i'm gonna eat it it's got like a banana bread taste that's about exactly what it is 120 yen for a slow bar sweet potato pine 41. 41. apple pie 47. 
This apple pie, 180 yen. Uh, nutrition facts, I'm gonna bother to look at them. No protein basically in this. Here's the sweet potato. It's got 258 calories, 3.1 grams of something, 12.3 grams of something else. You're here to tell us how it tastes. A Danish with some sweet potato in it. 258K cal, three grams of protein, so up to five grams of protein today. Not the best thing I've had, but not the worst. I like this one better. You can have this one. All right, get the track. What, you just get to take the best tasting things for yourself? Yeah, this one's not bad. I'll eat this one. Oh, that's so good. Okay, I'm glad you like it. My turn. Does that count as fruit for breakfast? For sure. That's really good. I'm gonna get pomegranate. This place is amazing. What order is it? You press it first, and then you do this. 180 yen for a pomegranate drink. Mm. It's got some like little chia seeds in it. I mean, this one's really good too. I like this one better, so I'm keeping it because that's how it works, right? <laughs> and we got 190 yen for this. Uh, it's a fruit smoothie. Carrots, bananas, kiwis. One hundred thirty-three calories, only uh, one gram of protein, but vegetables. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. All right. We need protein. We're on, we're in search for protein. Compared to my normal breakfast, today's breakfast was a little bit underwhelming. But I'm not getting discouraged. I think lunch is going to be better. Wait, we found Pokemon card vending machine. Which one are you going to get? I mean, there's so many different. Two packs. <gasps> the one for each. One for each, okay. We both get the Diamond Charizard. I don't know the Pokemon inside it though. That one sucks. This one's good, what's his name? Uh, oh, I know this one. Pogotech. Oh, I got a shiny, kind of. Oh, I got a Ninetales, I think. This is Ninetales, right? Yeah. I knew one. There we go. Oh my God, cut this part. Umbreon, Darumaka or something, I don't know. And I don't know this one. <laughs> These aren't even real Pokemon. The machine's a scam? They didn't give you a real Pokemon? Yours are the real ones, and then these are like Now normally for lunch, I go on Uber Eats, I order a chicken burrito, it costs about 2,000 yen, takes 15 minutes to show up to my house, and it's delicious. Let's see what we can get out of the vending machines. We have found food. This vending machine has pork cutlet sandwich. I don't know how I feel about a vending machine sandwich. Well, I'm gonna try it, because I'm hungry. Go. There we go. Number one. Oh. Since 1949. That's the date it was made. I'm quite hungry. Hey, it comes with a wet Whoa. tissue that you just drop it. I did just drop it. I think it looks like protein. I'm not gonna eat all the bread, so I'm gonna take the protein out of the bread. I've already had a lot of carbs today. This pork, not the best. It'll be better if it was hot, of course. 12 grams of protein in this box, which brings us close to 20 grams for the day, which means we're still far ways off. I'm gonna get a couple of these so that I can snack on them throughout the day. There's 12 in each, and I get three of these, that'll be 36 total grams of protein. Thousand dollars, no, 800 yen for this box. I might try something a little bit different. So that one's a hamburger sandwich. I'm gonna try that one as well. Chalupa, they have mini carrots. They have mini carrots in a can. There's more vending machines back there? Oh my God. I even translated it to make sure that they weren't sausages and it says mini carrots. 190 yen for mini carrots. Oh no. Oh my God. It returned our monies, no mini carrots. Be very careful when driving. It was previously aired on a TV program and it's just like a random story. Yeah. I think they're the mystery boxes. Yeah, they're mystery boxes for sure. I feel like we have to try one of the mystery boxes though. 590 yen for a mystery box. Which one are we gonna get? What number? Pick a pick a number, Chalupa. What do you think? Say 47, but oh it, yeah, 47. No, 27. 590 yen for a random 27. All right, three, six, 27. No. No, we got gypped. It just moved it forward. Oh, is it coming? Wait, what is it doing? Did we just get gypped? Wait, do we push 27 again? Okay, let's just do 43. This shit's rigged. That's twice it's not giving us our stuff. What is going on with this machine? We're trying a different mystery box machine. Mystery box machine number two, not working. Next. You're doing 
Dun, da, da. What are the words? This is a painting maintenance work that the is paint on steel bridge piers and several people will be present to remove the cleaning powder. And it goes on. All right. That's quite the description of the box. What's in it? Is this a note to you? <laughs> you want me to read it? Yeah. I was in junior high school and had pubic hair. <laughs> I shaved my pubic with a razor. I almost cut my pe Let's get every box and see what the fuck is. What do you think's in there? Now I have so many questions about who makes these. Is it just like individual people get to be like, I'm gonna donate a mystery box? Who owns the machine though? Cause they gotta put the thing in there. Let's donate a mystery box. Donate a signed ball in mystery box. That mystery box has been in there since January 24th, 10 months ago. I hope it's not food. This was well worth the trying 20 vending machine. The animal crackers? You gotta try them. All right. <laughs> Keep that note forever. Lion. <laughs> Lion. These are great for kids, but I feel like this note is not. I get dog. M duck tastes very good. No protein though in this duck. It's a cracker. <laughs> I feel like I have to try the quail eggs. Should be a good source you of protein. Need... We're, we're like 30 grams of protein today, so. Oh, gross. Pull. Now pull. One can, seven and a half grams of protein. That doesn't seem, I feel like there'd that's be more right. quail eggs. How many quail eggs are in here? Ew. Oh, oh God, that's not how you open a can. What do you mean? exactly how you open a can. I don't know how I feel about the liquid in here. Look at this. Oh, oh. I have to drain that. Uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna eat this. This looks disgusting. Now we can see what we got. I don't know, where's the quail eggs? It doesn't smell good. That's quail. I That's think. not quail. No, uh, it's some... Wait, there's like two quail eggs in here. That's it. One quail egg. It's not bad. Uh, has a little bit of an aftertaste to it. I tried that gelatin stuff. Try it. Oh, we got a third quail egg. I had it the other day. This? Yeah. It's ill. She said it's really healthy. I don't like it. I got two quail eggs. That's all I can stomach from this can. Quail eggs were good though. They're fine. That says domestic ground beef. I feel like I have to try it. No, I think that's for an animal. There's an animal on it. This one over here though says uh, it's camel bread. Do you know what camel bread is? All right, well, we got seven and a half grams from quail eggs, close to 40 grams of protein for the day. We need to find a vending machine that has like beef jerky or something like that. So I'm doing some quick research on Google. There's a company called Mobug, which uh, was founded to promote the consumption of bug foods. And there's a vending machine, I think, right up here around the corner. Chalupa's trying some of the crazy bug things with me, if we can find this machine. That's closed. Closed? Oh no. Tried two different locations for Mobug vending machines. Couldn't find them either place. The customers want to buy the product. I bet you Uber Eats could deliver Mobug. Fun fact. Dole, their company, I grew up with one of the kids. Okay, this is not protein, but how much are these bananas? 150 yen for one banana? Bananas are great for blood sugar too. Bananas are good for cramps because a monkey never cramps. Okay, my change pocket is has too much change in it. You have a coin purse. Then bring it. Eight. I want number ten because I'm a perfect ten. What was that? I want number ten because I'm a perfect ten. <laughs> One fresh banana for Chalupa. It's not number ten. Sorry, it's eight. Two ten bananas for me. One eight banana for Chalupa. Turn it off. This looks like Eric Sims' head. This is a uh, head with a little, little cup of hair. Anyway, it tastes like a fresh banana. Big fan. I'm so happy that we found this. This is like the first fresh food that we've had all day. I'm a very picky banana person. That's a shocker to no one watching this vlog. Yes, I'm having the second meal I ordered from the vending machine earlier. No. Not quite as delicious as um, your burrito. As my burrito, but. It is some protein. With only 30 minutes to make it to the art exhibit, I was still well short of my nutrition goals for the day. But as we stepped off the train, we found a protein bar. Yeah, I made like four of them. Protein. Oh, we have energy and protein. Oh my goodness. This vending machine is a godsend. Number 42. A low carb jelly drink containing protein to improve your physical condition and support your daily exercise. That's exactly what I needed. Do you think this strawberry one's a protein bar? Um. 
I can't read this gram. Five or 15 grams, and this is five grams? I can't tell. I need Google Translate. 20 minutes till we're supposed to be at our art exhibit. Let's give this little protein pouch a. What does it look like? Hmm. Okay, it's got a little like vanilla flavor to it. Kind of chunky consistency. I don't know if I like that or not. This will bring me to like close to 40 grams protein for the day. It's like 5.15 in the afternoon. We're way behind on the protein bowl. These, however, have 15 grams of protein in them each, and I have two of them. So that's gonna bring me up to like 70 grams of protein for the day. I don't know if I'm gonna like chocolate or not, so let's... All right. Oh, way harder than I thought it was gonna be. Doesn't taste super chocolatey. If it was strawberry, I'd like it a lot more. We're gonna wash it down with another staple of Japan hydration drinks. Bakari Sweat, I think that's how you say it. It's basically like a Gatorade, just a little bit less sweet, probably a little bit less sugar. And with that, we made it to Team Lab's world, which was super cool and had some crazy exhibits. This crazy LED room, these glowing dinosaur looking eggs, and these big floating bubbles. But my favorite exhibit was this flower projection room. Very cool experience, but after two hours of taking in artwork and taking Instagram pictures of Rachel, I'm hungry, which means I need to find <laughs> some food. So we decided to try Shibuya, and we're in Shibuya Crossing looking for vending machines. Eric and Kev played catch in the middle of Shibuya Crossing. That video is coming out on Momentum's channel soon, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Ooh, vending machine. Any food? No food. Okay, strike one. Here's another one. Any food in this one? Uh, strike two. This one's got to have it. It's outside of a restaurant. Uh, this one sells real gold, but no food. That's strike three on our Shibuya vending machines. So after striking out basically all day, I came home and promptly placed my 145th order of the year on Uber Eats. And it was fucking delicious. And obviously the answer is no. A pro athlete can't survive on vending machine food for 24 hours. It was a stupid idea in the first place.